Welcome to the Vitamin Chica channel. My name is Lynette and every week I talk about a different health and wellness topic. So if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe because it really helps that YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel too. Today's topic is going to be all about blood pressure and how to maintain it in a normal range. This topic is super important because one in three Americans have high blood pressure and 60% of people over the age of 65 will have high blood pressure. But it's not just a thing for old people because 20% of young people between the ages of 24 and 32 also will have high blood pressure. First, we have to understand what having high blood pressure really means. So blood pressure is measured as systolic and diastolic. Systolic is that top number, which means your ventricles are contracting. And diastolic is the bottom number, which means your ventricles are relaxed. To have a normal range means that your systolic is 120 or less and your diastolic is 80 or less. If your blood pressure is systolic somewhere between 120 and 139 or diastolic anywhere between 80 and 90, that means you have pre-high blood pressure. That's your body giving you a warning sign that you have to get serious about your health. So if this is you, you want to start eating healthier, you know, reduce your sodium, reduce your caffeine, your alcohol intake, eat more fruits and vegetables. You should be exercising, trying to lose weight, and also managing your stress. When someone's blood pressure reaches somewhere between 140 and 159 systolic, the top number, or 90 to 99 diastolic, that bottom number, that means you officially have high blood pressure. And your doctor will probably start putting you on some medications but you don't wanna to get to that point because these medications have a lot of different side effects like headache, nausea, dizziness, just things that you don't want to have to deal with. So if your blood pressure gets even higher than that, it's called stage two high blood pressure. So stage two high blood pressure means that your systolic is 160 or above and your diastolic is over 100. But blood pressure gets even higher than that so if blood pressure is over 180 systolic and over 110 diastolic, this is a medical emergency and take that person to the hospital immediately. Now let's talk about supplements that can help you maintain a blood pressure in normal range. As usual, in the description box below, I'll have links to research and articles so you can make an informed decision on what you wanna put in your body. And as usual, you should always talk to your healthcare professional before starting any supplement. But if there's a supplement that you do want to try, I also put links below for products that I would recommend. The first supplement ingredient I want to talk about is called berberine. So berberine is an active that's found in a lot of different plants like golden seal, Oregon grape, or barberry. And this has been used in Chinese medicine for centuries for a lot of different reasons. And there's been a lot of clinical studies for blood sugar, for cholesterol, and of course what we're talking about today, which is blood pressure. I'm going to put a link to some studies down below. One study is talking about how it reduces blood sugar and blood pressure, and another study talks about that taking blood pressure medication in combination with berberine was more effective than just taking the medication alone, so that's a really helpful study to read. And the dosage of berberine that I would recommend is somewhere between 2.5 milligrams and 5 milligrams per every pound. So let's say you're 150 pounds, you would take somewhere between 375 milligrams to 750 milligrams. So you'll just multiply your weight by 2.5 milligrams or by 5 milligrams and that way you can get your range. I'm going to put a link to a product I recommend, which is Amazing Formulas. It's a 500 milligram berberine, so that way you can dose yourself as you need to. If you're trying to manage your blood pressure, what you should be taking is a lot of antioxidants. So what antioxidants do is boost your nitric oxide, which then relaxes your blood vessels and, in turn, reduces your blood pressure. So you can get antioxidants from the food you eat. Here's a list of the typical foods that have high antioxidants. But if you don't think you're getting enough of these types of foods, then you can always supplement. One of my favorite supplements as an antioxidant is called Spectra. It's a trademark ingredient that is a combination of 29 different fruits and vegetables. 
It has a very high ORAC value, and it's been clinically studied to help reduce free radicals, um, help your immune response, and of course, you're getting antioxidants, so it's gonna help your blood pressure. It's a really low dose, only 100 milligrams a day can give you all these benefits. Another antioxidant is resveratrol. Resveratrol, you might have heard of it because it's in red wine, and a lot of people like to say they drink red wine because it's healthy. So that's one of the healthy benefits of drinking red wine, but it's also in berries and in cocoa and a lot of different foods. So if you don't get it enough from your foods, you can always supplement with resveratrol as well. Another powerful antioxidant is L-glutathione. I made a video all about L-glutathione. It's called L-glutathione, the master antioxidant. So if you wanna learn more about L-glutathione, I'm gonna put a link below to that video so you can find it more easily. So there's a product that I love. It's the North American Nitric Oxide because it combines all of my favorite ingredients. It has the spectra, um, the trademark ingredient, 100 milligrams, that's the clinical dose. It also has Cetria L-glutathione, but it only has 80 milligrams. I take about 1,000 milligrams a day of the Cetria L-glutathione, um, but you're getting a little bit in there. It also has resveratrol. It also has L-citrulline, and L-citrulline is great for blood circulation, which helps your blood pressure as well. Another supplement you might want to add to your daily routine if you care about heart health and want to reduce your blood pressure is beetroot juice. Beetroot juice is an antioxidant and it also is a nitric oxide booster. There was a really great clinical study done over an eight week period with people with high blood pressure and they saw with just drinking eight ounces of beetroot juice every day, in four weeks there was a reduction in systolic by eight points and in diastolic, that bottom number, by four points. So that's great results with only four weeks of drinking eight ounces of beetroot juice. So you might think, I don't want to be juicing beetroot or you think it might taste bad, but let me tell you, it tastes really good. I've tasted this Power Beats beet juice powder and all you do is mix it with water. It has no sugar added and it has a berry flavor, so it tastes really good. The last antioxidant I want to talk to you about is dark chocolate. So this is another easy one to add to your diet, especially if you love chocolate. So dark chocolate contains flavonoids, and that's the antioxidant that helps with your blood pressure. But if you don't want to eat pieces of dark chocolate, you can also use a supplement. I recommend this Cocoa Via Cocoa Chocolate Powder, and you can add it to your smoothies, you can add it to your coffee, and it guarantees to have 500 milligrams of cocoa flavanols. So this is the ingredient that's the active component of the dark chocolate. And the Cocoa Via trademark also has been studied to help with your cognition. So you're getting a two-in-one. You're helping your heart health and your cognition. I hope you found this week's video on blood pressure super informative. And don't forget to like the video and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber so you can keep up with all my new videos and catch up with all my old videos. And if you have a topic you want me to talk about, please write it in the comment and it might be the next video. And thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. But for today, that's it from me, the Vitamin Chica.